Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here in the Scoop studio and I'm joined by Michael Skinner from US Tech. Mike, great to see you again. Great to be here. Another huge show, yeah. Productronica. It seems to be on a bit of a upward surge again. There's a lot going on. What have you What have you seen today? Today, we only made it through three halls. So it's, uh, I think it's eight, eight or nine. We'll, we'll find out. But it's a... Uh, it's so big. I mean, it's the last time we spoke was at Apex, which is which is one hall of this show. Yeah. So the uh, the mood of it is really positive. It sounds like there's the, all the the capital equipment guys are meeting their biggest clients. There's a lot of movement in like Fuji and Panasonic, Panasonic and Yamaha. Those guys are all they're selling things off the floor. Now's yeah. their chance, and it's it's global now as well. And I heard a few people talking about this today. How uh, here in Germany this show's so good because you get the clients from all over the world, and you sit down and you talk. You talk for an hour and then you sell your machines around the world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's one of the reasons for that is this biannual thing. So the fact that everybody can save up all their energy and come every yeah. two years. And you do get time with people. And, you know, we look at a show like Apex with, I don't know, 400 or 300 exhibitors yeah. and, and three or four thousand. And this yeah, is easily over a thousand. Oh, I think it's like 2,500 exhibitors, okay. and yeah. over the week we'll get like 50,000 50, plus visitors. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a, a lot of stuff. It was where they chose to launch the Hermes standard today. Yeah. We've talked about standards before. The industry needs them. It needs to move forward. That seems like a positive move. And for me, that's a sign of collaboration in the industry. Everybody seems to be playing nicely at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good because I think we saw a couple of, we've seen a couple early missteps with communication protocols, but this definitely, the, the Hermes, the collaborative aspect, is very important because it's, it, while all these people, you know, you compete with each other, these people are all coming together. I think there's uh, 28 big companies have signed up so far and uh, they vote. It's a democratic process to add an amendment, you know, to the um, to the to the, the program to the yeah. specs yeah and that makes sense and um, what's interesting is it seems to sit very well at a different level with with CFX from IPC so yeah. everybody seems to be happy there the the associations seem to be happy from what I've gathered the uh, the contract manufacturers the people that are actually going to be using it on a day-to-day -day basis seem to yeah. be happy that's just part of this whole big data picture we're hearing terms coming into our vocabulary that weren't there two years ago now like digital twin artificial intelligence yeah. on the factory floor uh, augmented reality are you hearing people talk about that round yeah absolutely i think one of the biggest parts is now the as information gets more standardized and you can pass it between machines it's it's now being analyzed in a way that it's useful so you they you know you can take all the process statistics over and it, you know, days, months, years now that, that people have been gathering data and now they're putting it to work. You know, the, the buzzword right now is actionable, actionable data. Yeah, but it's happening. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's really important. So you managed to get through three halls today, which actually I'm really impressed with because I have not been out of this one. I've barely been off, off the booth. Um, I guess a few more tomorrow and let's meet again this time tomorrow and, yeah. and see what's new tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.